Okay, today on 52 New, uh, we're going to do an idea that was inspired by Ian McKinnon because he posted this on his Facebook and then I shared it and everybody wants to know it's going to work. Basically, if you do not have a toaster oven and you don't feel like going through the process of making a grilled cheese sandwich, is there another way to do it? The picture said yes, and here's how. We're going to see if it works. You take your toaster. Can you see it okay? Excuse my dirty dishes. So you're going to take the toaster and you're going to put the toaster on its side and then put the sandwich in there. Now, on the uh, actual picture we saw, they did them open-faced, but I'm going to take it to the next level because we have small bread and a big bagel-like toaster thing. So I think we can actually do an entire grilled cheese sandwich inside of it. Um, I'm going to make one for me. I'm also going to make one for my husband, Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. He's right there. Okay, so here we go. I am somewhat worried that when they're done, they'll just come flying out of the toaster oven and shoot across the room, but that'll be fun. Okay, so Steve has the regular white bread. And we're going to put a piece of cheese. Then we're not doing butter or anything. We're keeping this really like we're in a hurry, so that's the way it goes. I have gluten-free bread. That's why it's this big. And fits half a piece of cheese. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this one goes in here, and this one goes in here. I guess I gotta slide it down. Oh. Is it plugged in? Oh, it's not plugged in. Okay. Okay, so now we can shove it in. Try not to burn myself in the process. Sorry, Steve, it's not in there totally. Now, a couple of people pointed out that we'll have to be careful of melting cheese and other things burning on the burners, like crumbs and stuff. So we're going to put the fan on. Since we already have some smoke coming out of the back. Do you think we should open the window in case the fire alarm goes off? catch on fire, do you think? I don't know. What does it smell like? Plastic? No. Then we're good. Okay. I think it's definitely just crumbs that are burning. And I'm just going to keep waving it. Okay, so if you do this at home, which obviously I would not suggest, but if you do do this at home, you're going to want to um, make sure that the toaster is cleaned out of any crumbs. Sure. Important, because the smoke's not coming at the front. I don't see any flame though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's water coming from. Put your hand in okay. the pan. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna go open the door before the smoke alarm. Oh wow, this is there's more smoke than I thought. <laughs> think it's almost done? I think so. Think I should unplug it? No. I'm working. Maybe. <laughs> Might be an idea. Okay, I'm going to flip it back. No, don't lift it up. No. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we seem to have some flaws with our grilled cheese sandwich experiment in the toaster. The gluten-free bread didn't really do so well because, well, it was frozen. Okay. You know what, though? Not so close. It's kind of well done, but it's essentially... Cheese not even melted. Cheese isn't even melted. Okay, maybe we should do it the way they said to do it. Let's do it open-faced. Okay. Next one's open-faced. Open-faced. So, we'll do Steve's again. Open-faced. Open-faced. Do you want some tomato on it? No. Okay, but wait, isn't it going to push down on it? I don't think so. Let's find out. So much. Okay. Oh, fuck back. Okay. Oh, no, it slides in. 
Okay, here we go. No smoke this time, which is a good sign. This, folks, is worth it right here. Watching Susan try not to burn herself. Okay. The cheese is melting. What's the temperature setting? Um, five. Out of six. I think we might have success. There's still smoke. A little bit, not much. Okay, it's bubbling. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think we should stop it now. Eject Ready? it. <laughs> oh, smoosh them together. It's hot. And we have ourselves a grilled cheese sandwich. In the toaster. I think what we really learned is, is in a pinch, you can use your toaster, but investing in a toaster oven, probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs>